Hello folks and welcome to another video on the channel. Today we're going to be looking at hardware and specifically replica flight controls for a Spitfire. Sounds expensive? Actually it isn't, simply because you can make this at home with a 3D printer. How cool is that? So many of you might have seen um, Phil's designs on my channel before, that's the guy who runs Authenticit and what he's proposing and I think it's fantastic and it's really gaining some traction now is that basically he provides the designs and the schematics and you print that at home with a 3D printer. So imagine, I guess, freeware hardware like you'd get freeware software. It's an amazing idea and it's really, as I say, getting traction. Now, you've probably seen the Spitfire fighter stick on my channel quite a few times. Um, things are changing and getting very interesting indeed because I'm very excited to bring to you today the next part of the cockpit of the Spitfire, the Mark 9 Spitfire, and that is this. Just take a look at this, guys. So this is what you would find in a real Spitfire. This is the quadrant, and I'll just uh, relay, as you can see, some very close-up images of it. And the throttle, the mixture, uh, the prop is all, well, it's absolutely perfect to the real thing. And uh, I remember when he first gave me this, um, I was just quite taken back with just the sheer presence of it. It looks so incredibly real and the feeling of it uh, when you're in VR, and that's the whole point of this, is incredible. But I just want to show you also that he's even thought about the uh, War Emergency Power, often known as WEP, which is basically, a d well, a detent here. It only goes as far as here, but if I uh, move this little switch here, I can then move the throttle full power and then you see it goes back. That's ingenious. That's pretty cool. Now, I want to drive over the point, right, guys, that um, a lot of people, including me, are not, uh, well, they don't have a 3D printer or perhaps they're not confident in building their own quadrant. Well, don't worry. They're, they're, you know, Phil has been listening to the community and he's now got a, what he calls, let me just check and get this right, a community print service. Basically, if you join his Discord channel, which I will link in the description below, uh, you'll be able to ask whether you can uh, find someone near to home, or maybe even so, as long as you can you know, get it delivered, uh, someone who will print all of these parts off for you, uh, so that all you need to do is basically put them all together. And I'd imagine some people would probably be uh, happy to actually build this for you as well for a, a fee. Now, just remember guys, if you bought something like this, Right, okay, let me just check I've got it on the screen. If you bought something like this, say from GoFlight or SciTech, you know, or Alpha, the Alpha Yoke, sorry, the Honeycomb uh, company, you know, imagine how much this would be, okay? In fact, please let me know in the comments, have a guess how much this would probably be, because I mean, you know, I think you're talking of at least six to 700 pounds at least for a quadrant of this quality. You're getting this basically for the price of the parts and 3D printed materials are very cheap. But if you are, you know, a bit dubious about finding those materials and you're not sure where to source them, but all this is on the uh, Authenticate website, there is another option as well. Uh, Sim Kit Supplies, which I'll also link in the description below, is basically you can buy full kits, okay, like the wiring, uh, and some of the things that might be a bit difficult to find. You can buy all that uh, from that website. And I think that's fantastic because that way it makes it really easy to be able to, uh, you know, get into this without the fear of the unknown, if that makes sense. Now, I've also got with me, guys, because we're going to be checking this out today in IL2. Can't wait to do that. But also we have got the trim wheel as well. So let me just uh, show that to you here. Look at this. <laughs> this is just, I just think, I love the uh, sort of British green as well, or whatever you call it. You know, it's it looks the part and feels really, there's like a, a bit of resistance to it as well. So basically these, the quadrant and the trim wheel and the Spitfire control stick, in fact, I'll overlay some pictures of Phil uh, fitting it to his desk. And I'll, I'll show you my setup if you're interested as well. But uh, I think Phil shows it off better than what I could. Um, you can see the ingenious solution he uses. Basically, it's a pole that comes out and you, the uh, flight control 
sits on it really, really well, almost like floating in between your legs exactly where it would be in the real Spitfire. And then you've got this pole that extends out and that's where you put the trim wheel and the throttle quadrant. And the idea is, is that th this is positioned exactly where you would find it in the real aircraft. So my hope is, because I haven't tried it yet, this is going to be sort of a first impressions, is when I'm in that Spitfire cockpit and I reach out to touch the throttle quadrant or the stick or the trim wheel, actually I'm not sure about the trim wheel, but we'll see if that's positioned where it should be, but particularly the throttle quadrant, it's going to feel exactly where it is visually in the sim because this is really with VR in mind and that's what I love the most about this is that it, you know, the priority is to increase that immersion, that tactile feedback that you would get. You know, this is just the start of uh, the Authenticit idea really because I think next on the list is going to be the P-40 and perhaps even some general aviation aircraft as well. It's very exciting where this is going and I really do feel guys that, uh, you know, just go for it. If you are even remotely interested, contact Phil. I'm sure you might be active in the comments as well. Um, it's just the way he exp explains it all, it's very, very easy. In fact, the trim wheel, I think he's got a video online where he like puts it together in under five minutes. That's how easy this is, okay? You don't need a soldering iron or anything like that. Um, so, you know, even someone as inept as me could probably actually give this a go. Anyway, that's enough of me talking. Let's see what it's like in the sim in IL2. I cannot wait to show you and I'll see you there in a moment. So here we are in the sim. I've decided to go for a Microsoft Flight Simulator in the end because IL2 is being a bit of a pig. <laughs> but that's okay. We'll uh, do a video of that shortly. So can anyone guess where we are right now? We're actually at Duxford. This seems to be the perfect place to test out this new throttle quadrant and trim wheel, which you can see in the left-hand corner there. And you may even be able to see Colin, my dog, underneath there. So <laughs> he's just making sure everything's uh, running smoothly. So I'm really excited. Hopefully you can see me on the screen there as well. The Authenticit Spitfire yoke is there. We're going to strike this bird up by putting the prop fully forward and the mixture here fully forward. Wow, this feels good already. Just to have it exactly where it is in the cockpit. Pretty amazing. Oh yes, there she goes. I just had to go outside just to listen to those beautiful sounds. Wow. Okay, we'll close the door and the canopy. I'll make things a little bit more quieter in here. And we are ready to taxi. Very exciting indeed. That's the wheel brake coming off. So welcome to Duxford. We're going to do a little display here. And I'm <laughs> just, wow, already this feels unbelievably sort of realistic in terms of just having everything where it should be. If I look down, I'm concentrating on taxiing at the moment, but if I look down, that throttle lever that I can see in the VR headset is exactly where it is in real life, because it's here, I can feel it. Oh God, hang on, sorry guys. I'm too busy. <laughs> this is amazing. Right, let's just get uh, centered here. And we've got the trim wheel right here as well. Now, this is the first time I'm using this. So I'm having to get used to where things are. But really, this is unbelievable. Right, anyway, let's get airborne. And begin our display here at Duxford. Easy does it. And we are airborne. Let's go outside and enjoy those views. That is amazing. You're probably going to hear that word a lot, guys, on this video. Right, so I'm now bringing the RPMs back. Mixture. Leaning that off a bit. And we can trim her out here as well. You see the trim wheel working perfectly there. So really, I have to reiterate the point, guys. This is really important that 
when you're experiencing an aircraft with the correct flight controls, okay, in VR, I'm looking down and that exact throttle quadrant I can feel with my hand and then the trim wheel, what that does to the immersion is absolutely remarkable. Because you know that first time when you was in VR, the very first time and how amazing that felt? Well, imagine that all over again because now I have the tactile feedback I literally feel like I'm in my own Mark 9 Spitfire flying oh this is incredible right anyway <laughs> I'm really smiling like a little kid here this is you know I knew it was going to be good not quite this good Phil you are a genius oh my god I wish everyone could experience what, I, what I'm feeling right now and to put it into words, a little bit difficult to be honest, simply because I feel like I'm really flying a Spitfire here at Duxford, just because of this sort of situational feeling of being in the cockpit. I have to say the uh, the authenticit fighter yoke, uh, fighter control stick. Sorry, is so the axis. It's got a, such a wide range of movement. I can be I can be really precise with the aircraft. Oh wow! Bit of trim there. All I want to do right now is just fly this Spitfire forever with these controllers. And to think, this experience you can get is available at home. Just get a 3D printer for a couple of hundred quid or you can actually pay the uh, you know one of the community members because there's, there's many people out there building these anyway and see if you can arrange something on uh, Phil's discord for either the parts to be delivered you can use sim kit supplies or if you're very lazy <laughs> like I am I'm sure one of the community members would build you one I'm, I'm pretty certain they would okay coming in here for a loop full throttle propeller fully forward This, this is amazing. Here we go. <laughs> Over the top. I left that a little late, but we're okay. Not all coming back. And there we go. I have to say, you know, hand on heart, this is one of the most amazing VR experiences that I've ever had. And you know, especially those on the channel that's been here for a while, I've done a lot of VR now. <laughs> In many different sims. This is I'm lost for words. Oh, it makes such a difference having hardware that's exactly where it should be. And I really love uh, some of the design features that Phil has adopted with the quadrant. He's put like a like a, a bit of a material like underneath where the throttle uh, sits here. I'm not sure if you can see that on the camera which makes it feel like there's a bit of resistance there and it makes the whole thing feel incredibly well built. It just goes to show you what you, you know you can do. Now what I'll do is I'll overlay an image of how it's set to my desk. Now you'll be surprised because you know I'm a YouTuber you're probably expecting my desk and my setup to be the best in the business. Well it isn't. <laughs> I'm using an antique for a table that I've had for years. 
and uh, this fits on it perfectly well as you can see there by the images and the added pole which uh, is where the quadrant and trim sits fits perfectly on there and you can adjust it to wherever you need so that it's right exactly where it would be in the real aircraft now imagine this in a DCS Spitfire and IL-2 I'll be bringing the, all those sims with this setup in uh, future videos but what we'll do we'll just do one more pass here at Duxford do a bit of victory roll nice and low down here we go <laughs> epic that is just absolutely epic Oh guys, it makes such a difference. I can't tell you how much of a difference this makes to that immersion of being there. Wow. Right, we'll put the gear down now. Right, so we'll make a bit of a base here and attempt a landing. We'll go flaps down now. now I don't know if you guys have ever done this or not, but... It have you ever like reached out to touch an instrument by accident? Now you're that convinced that you're in the cockpit and you reach out and realize, no, all I've got is a, a generic joystick or a generic yoke. But in this case, I am looking at that throttle and that trim wheel and I'm feeling it and I can see it exactly where it is. I'm trying to explain it the best I can guys, but really you have to experience it yourself. But the effect is uncanny. It's unbelievable so please check out authenticit.org I'll put all the links you need in the description below including uh, Phil's discord channel and uh, sim kit supplies if you uh, would rather you know source the parts from a reputable uh, you know place where they know where to get them I think that's what I would do personally it's certainly worth it you're going to come up, you know, in terms of the money that you are saving by doing it this way, it's unbelievable. In fact, I say, I mean, it's priceless. You can't get a Spitfire Quadrant and trim wheel. You can't actually buy them anyway. So regardless of whether you would be able to buy one for a thousand quid, you can't even do it anyway. So this is the only option. And it's the best option, in my opinion. Right, turn in final then. Backing off the throttle there. God, this feels so good to uh, manhandle. This is exceptional experience. I, just, oh. I reckon this has got to be the best VR experience I've ever had. Just a bit of a side slip there because we're a little bit fast. Oh, wow. Get it on the deck. Give a bounce. Another bounce. <laughs> and we are down. Now comes the dance on the rudder pedals. Forgive me for not talking. Concentration. And there we go. We are safely down. Well, guys, I hope you enjoyed my uh, sort of inaugural flight with the uh, throttle quadrant and trim wheel. It's unbelievable. It really makes a massive difference to how it feels to be inside the cockpit. It really does. That'll do, I think we'll just, uh... oh, there's a guy over there, having some fun over Duxford, don't blame him. <laughs> and there you are guys. I hope you enjoyed my inaugural flight 
in the Spitfire. It makes a huge difference having the correct controls. It's unbelievable. And a massive congratulations to Phil. Authentikit.org. Check them out. I highly recommend that you at least give it a go. I'm pretty amazed by that. I'm actually quite uh, speechless, which doesn't happen very often. <laughs> Take care, and I'll see you all again very soon. Bye-bye for now.